Let's shift our focus to Meghalaya, Pankaj. Now, what happened in Meghalaya? You know what? I'm not even going to lay bare the details. Give us a sense of what happened in Meghalaya. The chief minister's uh, office was attacked. Why? What so? What did Conrad Sangma had to say? We have a reaction, but first and foremost, what are you picking up? Conrad Sangma uh, very recently made headlines when he shot uh, uh, almost a uh, uh, 400, 500 word letter, um, you know, uh, pinned in a tweet uh, to uh, N. Virin Singh. And uh, uh, we have to uh, also uh, factor in uh, the point that uh, while BJP has uh, its own government in Manipur, Meghalaya, the situation is different. Uh, uh, BJP is a far, uh, uh, you know, uh, minuscule support uh, supporter there. And uh, Conrad Sangma obviously has, uh, uh, you know, no obligation as of now to tow uh, mm. any particular mm. party's line. So his uh, commentary on... Uh, uh, Manipur's situation being a, a border state, being a, a state that shares border with Manipur and also, very importantly, the state is going to elections. So that's why Conrad Sangma uh, shot that letter where he had criticized Biren Singh, where he had clearly questioned that there is something missing, there is something with the intent of uh, the state government that is not hmm. uh, helping the cause and that is not stopping the uh, turmoil that is happening uh, in the state. Now, obviously, on expected lines, uh, uh, you know, the visuals uh, that we are showing as of now and what happened. But there's a, a you know, there's a layered approach over here as well because Conrad Sangma said that he went out, he tried speaking to the people. These people have been on this hunger strike for the longest time. He wanted to listen to the demands, but the stone pelting happened in an unexpected manner. It, it was almost as if it came out of nowhere. And the people who were on the hunger strike also said that not all of them knew the people who came in on that particular attack. Let's quickly listen in to what Conrad Sangma had to say and we'll come back for more. What uh, that took place today in uh, Tura, uh, outside the CM Secretariat and the Commissioner of Division's office, uh, is uh, indeed very, very unfortunate. We had... Uh, discussed with uh, one or two of the groups and NGOs who had concerns and were having uh, fasting for the last uh, uh, many, many days. And uh, while uh, discussions were going on, uh, we had already agreed on uh, finally a meeting in Shillong uh, and discussing this further with all different stakeholders because the concerns that they have are affecting the many communities and affecting the overall state as a whole and hence uh, these kind of decisions require more consultation. And uh, in the meantime of course other development aspects and other works that we have initiated those would uh, continue at a fast pace and those matters were discussed and more or less uh, these uh, NGOs uh, who had these concerns uh, were more or less satisfied. And I also would like to stress that uh, majority of the stakeholders, civil society and the NGOs uh, were not part of this uh, fasting that took place. There were just two organizations or maximum three organizations that were in this, but 90% of the organizations were not part of this. So even then, I felt it appropriate and I've always believed that uh, dialogue is important and hence I made it a point to uh, meet them. And uh, that was the, what was decided. And uh, so while we discussed everything, after the uh, discussion was uh, almost over, uh, we heard some uh, agitation and some sloganing from outside. And uh, I asked some of the people to go and speak to the people, and to their people, and tell them to control and uh, not to create any kind of uh, scene out here. But uh, once the leaders, the NGOs leaders had gone outside to talk to these people, uh, they came back to tell us that uh, they have no idea who these people are. They have... they have no idea who these people are, Pankaj. And only two of those organizations were on this particular hunger strike. And um, I mean, and kudos to the chief minister who even in this tenuous situation, and he knows what's happening in Manipur, he knows the tribal... Uh, you know, uh, linkage over there as well. He's seeing what's happening in Mizoram and Nagaland. He's written to, like you pointed out to Biren Singh earlier, he said that the top priority has to be dialogue. Even after this instance, 
I'm sure I will head out and we will have a conversation because it will only be resolved via conversation. Well, definitely. Uh, you know, uh, I would say that uh, young chief ministers uh, demonstrate such kind of, uh, uh, you know, tenacity, audacity, and hmm. the communion with the masses factor also comes in. And why I say so, because, uh, uh, you know, Kabir, we often end up saying, and we might be deviating here a bit, but just uh, to, you know, share uh, the views. Um, we often say that India, India's population, half of the population is young, under 25, half of the population is born after 1995, I mean, those sort of things. Uh, but often uh, we, uh, you know, fail to have a leadership uh, which could demonstrate a certain, uh, you know, sense of uh, mature, pragmatic response to something which might be political in nature or uh, uh, illegal or, uh, you know, um, um, uh, related to law and order, but you don't respond uh, in a with a knee-jerk reaction. Conrad Sangma, obviously, uh, demonstrating one such uh, streak here because uh, he remained unharmed in the attack. But as uh, we are picking up, uh, he was holding a meeting with representatives of the two protesting organizations, uh, Achik Conscious uh, Holistically Integrated Prima, called Achik, and uh, the Garo Hill State Movement Committee. GHS MC, and they were discussing the demand to declare Tura as Meghalaya's winter capital. Uh, all these things, uh, obviously, you know, might be domestic uh, to uh, uh, Meghalaya as of now, but uh, for it to very quickly turn into, uh, you know, a sentimental issue or the antisocial elements trying to hijack the situation and trying to send, mm. a, send a message to Conrad Sangba, who knows? I mean, as of now, the jury is out, the policemen are looking for the culprits. And uh, but all I say that with Myanmar, with borders, international borders, uh, you know, on uh, uh, siding with you uh, and one state under turmoil, it doesn't augur well for the northeast or for that matter any state uh, in these, uh, you know, trying times. Well, certainly. Um, so that's the situation in Meghalaya. Um, I'm just looking at uh, the Tribune as well. It says fresh incidents of Arsene Rock Manipur Union Minister's house targeted again. Mizoram steps up security for rally. Meghalaya Chief Minister's office attacked. Five uh, plus cops uh, who, who've been hurt. Parliament logjam is on. Opposition presses for PM statement. Uh, the ruling dispensation says we're ready for a conversation, but uh, our own way and according to the rules of the uh, parliamentary proceedings. Uh, we'll have to wait and find out as to how that happens. On the front page, everywhere, Pankaj, it seems it's it's only Ashok Gehlot. Even as, you know, what happened in the Rajasthan Assembly recently over the minister's sacking and how, you know, he alleged that he was thrashed inside uh, inside the Assembly. Uh, they have, the Rajasthan House has also passed a bill for the gig workers. But Ashok Gehlot is on the front page of all, uh, you know, newspapers pretty much everywhere. And uh, you can already see that, you know, the Congress government in Rajasthan is gearing up uh, for the elections in the state later on this year.